New York Governor Kathy Hochul doing what she loves to do best more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, and that is to push her jab agenda upon churchgoers. Well, we'll talk about the appearance she made at a church in Brooklyn over the weekend in just a second. First, if you could please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. Also, guys, if you could consider making a generous donation to our ministry, you can help us out on PayPal or Patreon. Little as five bucks a month. Sign up there, get access to our bonus content. Also, we include the links to the YouTube videos so you get alerted every time new content arrives. You can comment there, censorship free, send me direct messages. Don't forget as well, sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off YouTube. We already post there anyway, so go check it out. All those links down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. And for those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. So, Kathy Hochul, which by the way, this is not the first time that she has appeared at a church. In this case, it was a virtual appearance, but back in September, she appeared at a church, the Christian Cultural Center, pushing the jab there upon members. I mean, she is very active about going around and professing her Catholic faith, even though she doesn't resemble to be anything of a Catholic, of a Christian. No, nothing like that at all. She's a fake, ladies and gentlemen. She's a phony. I mean, plain and simple. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to yell. I got myself in some trouble the last couple of days, guys. I've been yelling at my videos. You know, these, these people just drive me crazy, you know, and kind of blow my voice out a little bit. So I, I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta take it easy. I got to calm down. You, you guys can yell for me, okay? So she even called this church. This is, and I'm still talking about the one back in September. She called these people, she called the congregants her apostles, her apostles for the jab. Hmm. Interesting. This whole the whole thing had a very antichrist, false prophet type of vibe to it. Uh, some of you may remember that, but let's talk about the appearance she made here uh, just this past Sunday, December nineteenth, after appearing uh, virtually at the Brooklyn uh, Bethany Baptist Church, where and this was just great. She tells churchgoers the way that you can spread the love of Christ for Christmas is by all of you getting jabbed. There is nothing more Christ-like that you could do than to get yourself jabbed. Now, you have to understand, she's appearing at these left-wing, okay, social justice type of churches. Okay, that's what exactly what this one is here. She talked about how much she loves Reverend Al Sharpton, who's associated here with this church. What a, a, a phony he is, okay? We all know that. But she wanted to talk about her background as a growing up in a, in a social justice Catholic family, whatever that means. But how the Lord has given us all the tools that we need to fight the virus and that we're not going backward. No, no, no. In fact, we're moving forward. Well, wait a minute. That's a complete lie. Because didn't New York just go back to in-person learning with a lot of their school districts? Wasn't it New York that said that they may possibly be locking down again in light of Omicron, which Hochul, you know, was touting the entire time on this video, which, by the way, if you want to watch it, I'll include a link in the description for you. You are going backwards. You're lying. <laughs> Plain and simple. But she said because of these jabs and the face diapers, we can be with our families again, unlike last year. The whole thing was just sick as she, she's making herself to be this great follower of Christ and and yes and, and and misinterpreting scripture relating it to the jab and how everybody needs to go out and get it because it's the Christ thing to do for Christ. It, it's just sick at this point but you know what Jesus told us that these types of people were going to arise in the last days Kathy Hochul is probably one of the most evil politicians in the entire country. By the way, she's unelected. You know, she was Cuomo's lieutenant governor who took over for him once he got bounced out for his issues. I, I mean, New York is in big, they're in big trouble. She even took a shot at Florida and said, oh, I'm so happy that I'm not in Florida either. 
Why? Because you hate freedom? Oh, is that why? Oh, that's right. Because they're not run by a bunch of tyrants down there like they are in your state? Oh, that's why you don't. Of course you don't want to be in Florida. You wouldn't fit in very well there, would you, Hokel? No, you wouldn't. Be aware. Be aware of these people, ladies and gentlemen, in the last days. More of them are going to show up. They don't work for God. They work for the adversary. They work for the devil, plain and simple. Look, time is running out. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. If you have not yet made him your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer right now. We do this on all of our videos. And so we want to give you this chance. I will lead you in a prayer. You can do this prayer in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today as the first thing that you want to do right off the top is acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are, but... God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but turning from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this for you down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Again, you could have that video, that link uh, to the Kathy Hochul virtual appearances there if you want to check it out. Don't forget as well, the links to donate to our ministry are there. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.